wolf, man. The wolf on the hunt. Yes, sir. What's going on with you? Oh, man. All good, man. All good. Uh, you know that you, you know, on the high, man. You you know, scored that KO victory there over Mike Ponya over at the Overtime Arena in Atlanta. You know, your home area. I know when we had our last conversation that you were really excited to get that fight there. You know, around your uh, hometown and, and in front of your folks. So, you know, how, how you feeling after getting that knockout win? Oh, man. I I, I feel great. You know, I did everything that I said I was going to do. And ultimately, you know, I, I showed and proved once again. I, I showed that I'm a, a, a top contender in this weight class. And uh, I'm looking forward to, you know, taking over the division and, and become a world champion here in the in a soon uh, near future. Yeah, got that key win in the super bantamweight division. And like I said, you did very well in that bout against Mike Ponya. You know, for me, you know, watching the fight, it seemed like you you seen everything uh, that he was doing in, you know, after about, you know, a couple of rounds or so, you were like, man, yo, I got this guy, man. So I, I really knew what he was going to be doing here at this, uh, you know, particular point. So, you know, once you were uh, in your comfort zone, you're able to do what you needed to do enough. Oh, hold up, hold up. Let me see here if it, if it gets him back on. Look like he, he was like off and on there. Hold up just a second. See if this, this there you go. Yeah, I don't know what happened. He was coming up. Yeah, word. But um, yeah, but yeah, I heard you though. But yeah, man, like I said, you know, we did we did it again. I'm looking forward to uh what's to come. You know, uh, at this point, I, I I want all the top five guys. You know, um. I believe that uh, I can, like I said, I can, I can beat anybody in at the at that division. So I'm just really waiting on my opportunity to uh, get a bigger, bigger chance at uh, one of the top five fighters in the country. I mean, uh, in the world. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know you know you had you know these a uh, couple of fights here in 2023. You want to stay active in you know in our last conversation you were talking about you know potentially like I want Rice, I leave. I want you know. Um, you know, Nio, anyway, all those guys, like you said, in the top five, that's super bantamweight. Uh, so, like, you know, I would say, like, what would it take to, like, get one of those guys that are, you know, they're higher ranked in the division to get in the ring with you? I know you might have to, you know, talk with your promoter there and uh, see see what they can work out uh, to see if you can probably, like, maybe get a fight before the end of this year. You uh, and what, what was the question? Uh, as far as, like, you you know, getting in the ring with one of those top five guys or, you know, guys that are there at the top of the super bantamweight division. Like, you know, what would it take, you would think, to, you know, at least try to get at least one of those guys uh, to step in the ring there with you? Um, well, I just think ultimately it's going to fall in the hands of the promotion. promotion. You know, um, you know, it's kind of got, uh, you know, so we just kind of got to see see what what opportunities lie ahead you know there's there's uh uh you know see what everybody's fight schedule is kind of looking like and it's kind of go from there but um I, I expect to be in the ring one more time this year probably like i, I want to say like october maybe november october november so um you know if i hopefully that that'll be a big fight and then after that i can uh uh, fight in in an eliminator fight, and then fight and then fight for the world title. So yeah, for sure, for sure. I know that you know in the uh, rankings, you know for the sanctioning bodies, you're pretty much around like ten or eleven in the WBC, the IBF, and the WBO. So you know, getting a couple uh, one or two fights in, you'll be right there, like in like you said, the eliminator bout. And you know, we you know can work things out with Tony Jitter, Jitter Promotions, shout out to Jitter Promotions, and. Uh, you know, get you in position to, you know, have those fights to get you up in the rankings uh, there at Super Bantamweight. Uh, going back to your fight uh, there at the Overtime Arena in Atlanta, like, how how is that feeling, like, you know, leading into that bout, you know, fighting in your hometown, and it's like, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm in the main event. Uh, they're showing in front of my, you know, my fan, hometown fans, friends, and family. Like, how is that uh, overall experience? Oh, yeah. Oh, shout out uh, Light Skin Lou, my guy. Yeah, let's get moving. Uh, What's up? Yes, sir. Shout out Redman Savage too. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Shout out Traders Guild. My boy Azim in here. What's going on? Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it was exciting. I mean, um, you know, I, I loved it. I, I had a lot of support. Um, 
you know, my, my, you know, my, my pack, as I, as I call them, you know what I'm saying? They, they mean everything to me. You know, those, those are those closest to me, those who are around me, you know what I'm saying? Those who I really give my energy to on the day to day, you know, those, those people are very important to, uh, just my, my, my process and how I get ready for fights and everything else. And I'll, you know, in the, the fights themselves. So, um, yeah, I just try to make sure, you know, that, that everything is always tight knit, you know, before I get in the ring. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like you mentioned, the pack and a number of them, you know, are here uh, joining us uh, right now on the live, you know, check, checking us out there, man. Um, yeah. and, and like my, I said, my, bro um, my brother just joined too. I just said. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, like, uh, you know, Life Can Lou is saying, like, great box atmosphere uh, there in Atlanta. Yeah, they, you know, you know, they've had, like, a number of uh, fight cards in there in that arena in Atlanta, you know, including yours. And, you know, they definitely had a uh, good fight atmosphere uh, there, you know, for your event. And it was just a, a good overall experience that, you know, ended in that, you know, exciting knockout that she had there in the third round over Mike Klein. And, you know, for me, I, I just felt like you, you pretty much was – you know, ready for anything that Mike Klein you had. Uh, a number of times, you know, he was trying to come in, you know, with the big shot, you were ready, you had the high guard up and everything like that. And, you know, sometimes when you threw, threw a punch, you were able to just throw something with the emphasis right back at him. Yeah, I mean, he he came out very aggressive, which which we wasn't really uh, expecting that, not going to lie. We weren't expecting mm -hmm. that. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, my dad, he just, he uh, who my head coach, he just told me to just kind of, you know, just, just let him – uh, get out some of that nervous energy. Let him just kind of expend some energy the first round, whatever, whatever. Then the second round, you know, he's kind of told me they're going to do the same thing or whatever. But then uh, he caught me with a good little shot because I was kind of being a little lazy on defense. And then, uh, you know, it, it's like a little stunning shot, like a little, you know, quick little dazing type shot. So then I was, I kind of got mad after that. So then I started going forward on him and I started connecting with my left hand which is a, a, a punch that me and my uh, dad was working on this whole camp. So we, you know, because a lot of people was kind of, it was like a misconception when people thought was calling my knockout a lucky punch. And that was the farthest thing from the truth because, like I said, we worked on that punch in camp, the whole, you know, the entire camp. Like I said, soon, that, that third round when I came, I mean, before I came out, my dad told me to advance. He said, go ahead, go, go ahead and hunt him now. It's, it's, go get him. So then I was like, all right, cool. So I came out right at the gate, got on him, start, you know, start had him in the, uh, you know, kept him close to the corner, and um, you know, the whole half of the round until eventually, like I said, I set him up with a body shot, and then I threw it when he didn't expect it and caught him. It was lights out. So I mean, you know, so to those who speculated that it was a lucky punch, it wasn't a lucky punch. Um, like I said, I'm just I'm, I'm adaptable. I had I already told them that uh, during the pre-fight interviews and whatnot. I said I'm a very adaptable. You know, it doesn't take me long to really figure somebody out. Once I got them figured out, then I, I usually go get them. Um, and you know, plain and simple. So, you know, it just, and and I still have so much more to show. Like people are really only seeing the the bare minimum, and it's just the truth. And people, like I said, people who underrate me, they they will see. And it's only because, like, I look at, at the fashion of which I'm getting these guys out of there. Like, mm -hmm. I'm knocking them all out right in the second and third round. You know what I'm saying? So, really, people are not, you know, able to really even see the full spectrum of my abilities. And uh, eventually, you know, they, they will. And I know as I continue to keep fighting tougher competition, it'll be shown. So, I'm just, you know, staying prepared for that. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You know, like you said, you, you pretty much are back in the gym, uh, you know, soon after, you know, getting that win over my client to, you know, improve or, you know, pretty much sharpen, you know, what all, what the tools that you already have, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but, yeah, going by, you know, what you were saying, when you made that adjustment, it was pretty much like in that second round. Once you, you know, started becoming aggressive and coming forward, then uh, you were able to, you know, press them. And then once you did that, it was pretty much a wrap. Yeah, I mean it, it's crazy. I just seen somebody in the in the in the comments say that Planilla was he was beating me up or whatever. But like he said, you know that's just like one of them. You know what I'm saying? Like it is what it is. You know people people think what they what they want to think. You know what I'm saying? That's just that's just how it go. I mean that's that's boxing. But yeah, like I said, he you know I and, and really more than anything, I was nervous as fuck. 
you know, I, I have no shame in admitting that, you know, it was my first TV fight, like my first time being broadcast to the world. So, of course, I'm I'm a little nervous than usual. So I kind of, you know, was a little afraid to really uh, let go and, um, you know, really like showcase in, in full until, uh, like you said, till I wasn't and I adjusted and then boom. So, so do you think that that was more, of, uh, you know, what you were thinking about instead of like being in your hometown, like it's like your first TV fight. So it's like, man, I'm gonna be on TV. Should I, you know, really, you know, press to show out or something like that, or you know, was it just like being in TV on TV in general? Because like, you know, having a hometown fight, you usually are comfortable. You're you're in your home area. You don't have to worry about much or nothing. The only thing that you would probably worry about is like, you know, folks hit, you know, hit you up for tickets, you know, got to buy this ticket, get that ticket or whatever it is. Or, yeah, see, I wasn't even, in, I wasn't even in, in control of no tickets oh, like okay. that. And I still was getting hit up and blow. <laughs> nah, my, my phone was getting blew up. Like, it was crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, it was, it was definitely like a, a crazy little experience. But, you know, ultimately, I, I'm, I'm grateful, though. Like, mm. Oh, no, I'm so trying to said, look at some of these questions. Oh, uh, I got some of these comments. One, um, what it said, like, do you feel like a uh, mistake against Fanya was being on the defensive early on, or did you just need to get the timing down? Oh, that's actually that's actually a good question because I low key, low key both. It's really both, to be honest. Like, I feel like I didn't have to be as defensive early, but I mean that was just a, what I was told to do. You know, my, my dad, he told me to just just chill. He said, just wait, see what he do, see what he come with. He came out real hard and aggressive. I mean, he, you know, and um, he didn't really, it wasn't really like his punching power was really affecting me. You know, I just kind of got lazy at one, at one point in the second round. He caught me with a little shot. I readjusted again. And then, you know, I caught him. I mean, I started going forward on the, ne the next round. And then, shit, it didn't take too long before I just, before that, that left hand came out. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. And you know, once you once you got that knockout, man, it was like the 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 whole reader went crazy and everything like that, man. They were showing hey, shout out Rich, man. Pack. You know, the pack was out there, you know, showing their love and whatnot. So it was it was definitely a good feeling for you to uh, score that knockout win, you know, in front of your fans there in Atlanta. No, for sure. I mean, that that was just the icing on on, on top of it. You know what I'm saying? Because I I was um like I knew I was gonna I already knew I was gonna win. Like I knew I was gonna win. Like this all this stuff has been aligned, like everything that's happened to me thus far, like every just everything. I like and I was I put in the work as well. So I like I was winning the fight. So I just didn't know exactly how. You know, I wanted the knockout and I said I was going to knock him out. Uh, before, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? I knew he was a tough opponent, so I, I give him all, all respect and credit, you know, so, but it you know, I had already more so predicted it, so the fact that it came true, and then, like I said, just all the extra, you know, being on TV, my first TV fight, all that, like, you know, it was perfect, it was perfect, and, you know, I can only just give credit to God, and just because at the end of the day, I'm walking the path that he set forth, and I'm, I'm seeing it clearer and clearer every day, you know, so that's why at this point it's just, you know, continuing to do so until I'm there and I'm I'm right there. Like I'm literally two fights away from the world's title.